Off today, I'm Sabrina Salas Matanani, and welcome to another episode of War. We are in the village of Marizzo to share the story of what happened in Tinta and Faha during the Japanese occupation of Guam. Every year, a memorial service is held at these two sites so that we always remember. Year after year, the Babalta family returns to Tinta. Oh, every year, I, uh, I cry <laughs> coming over here. Oh, come, coming over here. Yeah. <coughs> I cry only because uh, uh, my father is, uh, is a husky guy, you know, he's a very healthy guy. And he's the one that supports us all the time. And uh, he, I, I feel so bad that uh, he was one of them that was killed and not, you know, not the one that uh, make it. Uh. His father, Juan Cruz Babalta, was one of the 30 Marizzo residents during the Japanese occupation of Guam that were massacred just days before American troops returned to retake the island. Maleso Mayor Ernest Chargolov. They marched them over here. Once they got to Tinta here in the spot, they were told to go into the cave. Once in sight, the Japanese started throwing hand grenades in sight. After the uh, grenades were thrown, the Japanese probed that body, and everyone still alive were bayoneted to death. Fourteen people survived to tell the story of what happened here, a story that although his father did not survive, he makes sure his life and his sacrifice are never forgotten. I always uh, told him about, uh, you know, the story of what happened, and that uh, we just have to... Uh, pray to God that uh, you know my, my dad's okay up in heaven, and that uh, we ought to come every uh, you know every year to celebrate the uh, memorial of the and um, and uh, just to be just to just to think about my dad uh, every year and to, to pray for him. After Tinta, we retraced the path where dozens of Marizzo men, some of the strongest in the village, were taken to by the Japanese. We're now in. Faha. Here, the Japanese told these Marizzo men to get into a trench. They then threw grenades and shot them to death. No one survived. It was one day after Tinta, July 16, 1944, that the Faha massacre occurred. Similar to Tinta, Marizzo residents were told they were going to be protected, but instead were killed. The Tinta and Faha memorials follow others, like in Menengen and Asin and others that are scheduled to commemorate the island's 73rd liberation. Joint Region Marianas Rear Admiral Shoshana Chatfield. These commemorations are becoming more and more important because as one family loses an elder, uh, a beloved person, uh, there's no one to tell the stories anymore. But now the stories can still be shared uh, and they're shared amongst families and within the community. And it helps me to understand, it helps me to honor the past. Governor Eddie Calvo says the memorials are also about honoring the past and learning from it. In 73 years since that terrible battle, uh, that we focus on peace. And I think that's what's so important here. The sacrifices of these innocents, that we use these as a springboard for peace for our generation and for future generations to come. 